Okay, so I'm at the gadget store, and for most of these machines, it is. Where am I? <laughs> two tokens. It's two tokens uh, per game, so we're gonna see what we get. Okay, and now we get to opening. So most of the capsules that I got were just the classic round ball. Give it a good squish. And pop. And our first one is the cake that I grabbed. For this cake, I was pleasantly surprised at just exactly how soft it was. But this particular gacha was very worth the price in my opinion, both for the size and the detailing on the cake. And for the next gacha, we give another squish. This one was definitely more tight packed. <laughs> but another very pleasant surprise. We're going two for two so far. I got both the blue chocolate cake as well as the blue pudding and this pudding it was meant to be squishy you can see it on the booklet that it's meant to be pulled and stretched but i wasn't expecting it to be so it's almost like it's a slime but it's definitely capable of keeping its shape Now, for these capsules, I had a bit of difficulty. I had to press them open with the palm of my hand, and not all of them made... Not all of them made it. <laughs> I did eventually get this one open with Nalron's help, but as you can see, it's absolutely crushed, and the poor little Waddle Dee stamp is trapped in there. But the results... As I got, I did get them open. So our first keychain is this little cat paw with a switch on the back that does light up, flashes between red and blue. And I've gotten a few of these before, but never a gray option since the booklet only shows the blue and red paws, which funny enough are the other two that I have. And then this little fella, I was so, so happy to see him. If you know Mami Shiba, you and I are now friends. <laughs> it was a series of shorts that they aired in Japan, very much like just a commercial that would play between programs where this little Shiba Inu disguised as a edamame bean or a red bean, any kind of bean, would tell you random facts like, did you know a giraffe's tongue is blue? And then the people who were going to eat their food would no longer want to eat their food because they were so astonished by the fact. But I love Mame Shiba. And I'm very glad that I pulled the classic Edamame Shiba from the gacha. And finally, all of those little stamps that I pulled. Every single stamp was in one of those hard to open green capsules. <laughs> um, my camera isn't going to pick this up very well. But the first set of stamps are the three bunnies. They're not my melody, but they do kind of look like her. I'm just going to stamp them on the paper and then do my best to show the design on camera. Small self plug. Uh, if anyone wants to ever help me get a new camera, a better camera, my throne and my 
my tip jar are always open on stream. And honestly, I was really, really pleased with the quality of all these stamps. And considering um, they're all just really cute, dreamy design plush bunnies, I have no complaints about any of the designs. There wasn't a specific one that I was hoping for. Uh, and I definitely have a use for these as we are going to start implementing loyalty cards for the Mirai Cosplay Cafe moving into 2023. So they're perfect. They're the perfect size. They're super easy to use. And because they're square instead of other stamps that I've seen, which are either round or really, really short, they're very easy to just boop down. And the second set of stamps that I got. They were all Kirby themed. As mentioned before, that poor Waddle Dee. The stamp for the Waddle Dee is not in this video as I did have to wait until Nalron got home to help me open it because I just couldn't, I couldn't get him out of there. Um, but the other two Kirby stamps that I got are adorable. No complaints. None. I absolutely would go back and I would get multiples because if I ever got doubles, it would either be in case I lost one or to give away to a friend. And that was my pull for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed my weird gacha vlog. <laughs> Thank you guys again for your support during my subathon this year. If you would like to see more of this in the future, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think your favorite gacha was, and if you have any other store recommendations if you're a Vancouver local, I'm always happy to hear them. I'll see you guys next time!